NFL Week 8 recap, instead of leaping and hurdling, this week Josh Allen stumbled, proverbially. Damian is piercing through walls, but his offensive line is not. Mike McCarthy finally found something on offense, but Dan Quinn should be eligible for Coach of the Year. The Vikings season has bad odds with Hall or Dobbs. The Saints put more pieces together on offense, then may start marching soon. Tua needs some Tua days if he wants to be good. The New York teams had a chance to win with Zach Wilson barely outplaying Tommy DeVito. Highly recommend saying the name DeVito. It is a lot of fun. Peterson has a lot of work to do during the bye to prove he has not petered out. Levis is yet to prove himself. Sometimes an offense will benefit from dialing things back to a simpler form. We'll see if Levis slips on the banana peels laid out by the Steelers' struggling secondary, or if he eats said peels, which is still one of the most disgusting and disturbing things I have heard. Jalen has started to hurt some more defenses by reverting to his 2022 self. Still has more to go, though. The Seahawks add necessary front seven help to their starting 11. On offense, Bobo is starting to go-go. The Browns' season hopes are on PJs until Deshaun Watson returns. Lamar has showed flashes of his old self, but as a thrower. <clears throat> Sorry, I just got a bad taste in my mouth. Sean Payton was finally not the worst coach on the field. Brock Purdy has rocked the sturdy boat enough to be in the hot seat. Burrow, Bengals, Battlestar Galactica. That is Super Bowl contenders. A little bit of a something, something for those office fans out there. Bajant is clearly a rookie, but the Bears should make him their bay for the rest of the season. Look, Fields' film is not good so far throughout his career and into year three. Drafting a guy next year. See what you have in your backup. And lastly, as talented as Gibbs is, the Lions' season looks glib without a top corner to rely on.